Hey, welcome back. Today, let's take a look at the Robin SB510 Delta. Stay tuned, and we'll check it out. The Robin SB510 Delta is a full-featured radio for the time. I'm guessing it was made in the late 70s, early 80s due to the wood grain kind of paneling on the, uh, the front here. Very nice radio. I've got a soft spot for CB radios in general, even though I'm not old enough to have experienced the boom of CB radio, but I do like collecting these older vintage-looking radios. It's full featured and we'll look at some of that here in a little bit but you've got a transmit uh, LED here and a receive you've got 40 channel LCD display there and then you've got your SWR modulation meter and all that jazz on this side you've got PA CB the noise blanker works pretty good external and internal speaker you've got your channel changer a dimmer that works kind of backwards from most of the other radios I have clarifier this does upper and lower sideband as well you've got your on off and volume switch here and then you've got your squelch that's built in or not built in but you have your squelch but in with that you have an RF gain so in is what I'm guessing is a, like a DX setting and then when you pull it you get a local setting however this doesn't seem to work now this radio is a little bit bigger than like the Cobra 148 or my QT40 from Radiotity being that it's 8 inches wide it's about 2.5 inches tall but she is a big girl <laughs> as you can see there so from the SO239 connection in the back all the way out to the knobs this thing's about 11.5 inches and she's hefty it's 5.5 pounds so I was hoping here on the back in the data plate that it would tell me when it was made, but I'm not seeing that. But obviously it is a Japanese radio, as most of them are. You've got your kind of two-prong power connection, your SO239, your PA speaker jack, and then your external speaker jack. However, like most CBs, it is also a bottom-fired speaker, which works out pretty good. It sounds pretty good on the air, and I'll roll some B roll footage of that in here in a little bit. You've got a four pin mic of the Robin variety and what I thought was kind of neat about this one I mean, it looks like every Robin mic I've ever seen but I don't know if they came factory like this or if this is an add-on but it does look kind of factory to me that it's got that little 90 degree elbow which is nice because I like side fire or side mounted mics like on my 148 but if you're mounting it in a dash or something like that I mean you do have your cable sticking out pretty far where this one kind of keeps it to the side nice and slick. I don't have the mounting bracket or anything like that for it uh, but let me reposition here we will put some power to the radio. Okay we've readjusted here let's put some power on this radio we'll turn the volume up a little bit and again, we're going into a dummy load, so it's probably not going to pick up anything except for my little handheld here that is uh, very close with no antenna just so we're not putting spurious emissions out as bad. So going through the channel changer, the LCD display doesn't have any, any of the numbers that are out or anything like that. And then, like I said, the dimmer is kind of backwards. You'll kind of clockwise to turn it down, clockwise to turn it up. The clarifier works, but I think the radio is off frequency a little bit. Um, I don't have an external speaker or anything like that, so just bear with me here. And I've very crudely got my power meter SWR uh, antenna tuner dealio down there so let's see what she puts out on AM on 24 and I've got the 
handheld over here on as well so maybe you can get a little bit of a, a sound of what it or hear a little bit of what it sounds like testing the robin the robin sb 510 delta testing the robin redbeard 1984 out of west virginia so that's kind of what it sounds like from that radio into the the handheld and we'll do it the other way testing to the robin once we turn some volume up maybe testing to the robin testing to the robin well maybe that doesn't transmit <laughs> Let's put the antenna back on it. <laughs> Professional YouTuber here. Testing into the robin. Testing into the robin. Testing the robin. This is what the received audio sounds like on my very crappy setup. <laughs> Alrighty, so not the best test of this uh, radio's performance, but I was able to get a hold of a buddy down the street, 35 Delta 114, I believe is the way he goes by, and uh, he's just over the hill from me here in West Virginia. But let me uh, roll that in here, and we'll close this video out. Video out. So stay tuned, and I appreciate your time, and as always, be nice to each other. Pretty good. Oh yeah, I got you full scale on this side. Uh, sounds good. Um, making a little bit of a, a video here uh, for YouTube, if that's okay with you. Yeah, I don't mind. Don't mind a bit there. Make sure you send it to me there, <laughs> so so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, it sounds pretty good there. The audio's nice and uh, clear and crisp out there. Yeah, right to that. Yeah, it's one of those that's got the uh, the squelch uh, knob, and then you can pull it out for the local and DX. But I do think there might be something wrong with that because when you pull it out for local, it, it just completely dies. Uh, but let me let me pull it out, and you come back to me and see if it was just something I was dealing with the other day or, or what was going on. So just give me a little modulation there for a minute, and we'll see what it does. Okay, this is a Dozy does and dozy does and little lambs and ivy there. Test one, two, three. one audio check. Back to you. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, I, I've got you. Like I said, about a about an eight or a nine most of the time, and uh, when I pull that out, it drops it completely out, like it cuts off the receive. So that might have been modified, or maybe that switch is just bad. I'm not sure. Yeah, it could be both there. It could be a out of adjustment there too. There was adjustment on the inside there, RF gain adjustment there. So uh, you get schematic there. You can go in there and readjust that maybe, or just check that switch out. Put a uh, voltmeter on the switch there and check the switch itself. Yeah, Roger that. Uh, you got capability for uh, sideband there. You want to go uh, upper? Well, we can go both if you got the capability. Go upper and then lower. Yeah, I got everything on this radio. AM, FM, sideband, everything there. Uh, let's go upper sideband there. Roger that. Going to upper sideband. And we sounded on uh, upper sideband there. I'll tell you what, uh, the audio's not real good out there. <laughs> it kind of knocked your audio way down. Yeah, Roger that. This thing's got a clarifier on it, and it almost sounds like you're uh, off frequency a little bit, but it's probably this rig here. Yeah, uh, get it. talk to me there, and I'll tune to you. Yeah, Roger that. Checking, checking, checking the radio. Tuning to me, Redbeard, 1984, out of West Virginia. Trying the Robin SB 510 Delta. Okay, I, I tuned to you there, and uh, it's uh, it, it's a little bit clearer there, you know, but uh, not a whole lot. Now you're giving me about the same signal there too. You're giving me about a nine there uh, on the upper side band there too. Yeah, Roger that. I got about a nine on you over here, uh, but it, it 
yeah something's uh something's off with the clarifier there so I'm, I'm not real sure I've got it set dead center and it it still sounds weird let's try lower okay going to lower how about there on lower over how's that sound to you I uh, doubled with you I can definitely tell you're on lower uh, still got kind of an, an odd sound to it so it, it's got to be something in this radio yeah I just tuned to you there just tuned it to you there okay give me a little uh, little talk and I'll tune to you and see if we can square it away okay Marcy Doze and Dozy Doze and Little Lambs and Ivy there Task one two three three two one and the dog is still barking outside. I don't know what she's barking at, so I'm going to send it back to you. Yeah, I tuned her in a little bit to you. Uh, like I said, I, I would say this one's off because I've talked to you on that uh, the mother radios I got. And you sound good on the upper and lower sideband, so this one's off a little bit for, for sideband work anyway. Roger, roger. Yeah, a lot of them guys there that run sideband there, they don't, uh, <laughs> they don't, uh, you know, keep it right on frequency anyhow there. Precise, uh, like most guys are there, but it's good enough there. It works good enough there for you. Yeah, roger that. Well, I appreciate your time and uh, checking this one out. Now I'm going to uh, cut the video off here, uh, but it'll be on the uh, the YouTube channel there, Stewie Stewart. Uh, so you check it out. It won't, it'll be a couple weeks because it'll take me a little bit of time to get it uh, edited and all that stuff. But I appreciate you, and I'll end the video here, and we'll continue the conversation on AM if you want. Yeah, we'll go to AM there. 35 Delta, 114 going to AM. Thank you.